Hello? Alright. Um, so, since you're f just getting Fruity Loops, I'm gonna make a tutorial, show you how to start recording. Alright, so first of all, you have to have your fast track plugged into your computer, and um, get your mic plugged into it, get that all set up like you would have with Pro Tools. And then you're gonna click this little box over here, I'm just gonna cut off my audio when I do this, so, or maybe not, let me see. Uh, it's gonna oh no there we go all right so when you open this little box um you're gonna want to press this little screwdriver in the corner here because this is all you're gonna see at first press that make sure both of these are set at 512 you do not want it any higher or any lower than that um you're gonna i get a lot of buffering whenever i have um all of these on so i usually turn my out off and my keep my in on on the m audio fast track and then keep, uh, this is my regular sound driver, I just keep the out on for that so I can plug headphones into my laptop and stuff um, so you get, once you have that set up you're gonna go into your mixer board this little button right here, you noob All right. Uh, and then you're gonna click right here, none and then I don't know exactly how your fast track is set up, mine's set up where the mic input is fast track 1 and the uh, guitar input is fast track 2 and then to get them both open at the same time, you press this right here. So I'm going to shut off my other audio to show you that this will work. So turn that off. So. Oops. All right. So that just turned on the audio right here. So now that's my mic hooked up for through my fast track into my computer and that's how you're gonna have to record and then once you get this turned on you're gonna go to this button right here go down one and then you're gonna click on that one you hear your four clicks and then once you start like once you hear your four clicks it'll start recording and then you press stop and there's your audio file All right, so that's basically the basic the basics to recording. Um, I really hope you installed ISO for all because uh, it's gonna give you that option in FL Studio. Do not skip that step. If you do, go back to the installation and r install that. Um, if you want to put effects on your voice and or, and stuff like here, I'll I'll scream real fast. I'll record that and so I can show you like how to put some effects on. Um You ever get about my bride of my voice Not like my rum here Alright, so it got some screams. You can double click that and assign that to whatever mixer channel. I basically just took this and put it through this mixer channel right here. So far to play it. Alright. That sounds like shit. All right. Um, so, the most basic effect I ever use is this one. Um, basically, uh, if if you didn't see how I did that earlier, you double click on here, and that'll, and then you drag that. All right. So you double click there, and then. That note in the beginning is really starting to hurt my ears. Um, and then another one that I use that's really basic. It's called Fruity Reverb 2. These are all, these all come with Fruity Loops. Other ones I have like uh, Pro Filter, um, Omicide, Camel, all these Tau over here, Zebra, Zebra Let. All those, you have to get them separately, but I can give those to you. And then... Um, what the reverb basically does is put a reverb on it. Just... Alright, so, uh, oops. 
that's, I really hope this video helps you with recording, because I know you're going to be completely lost once you open it. I know I was, and uh, I'm going to try something. Now there's a reverb. Anyways. Um, so yeah, and then this is where your samples are going to save. This is called your beat, your beat pad. You go into your regular, oops, your regular thing, and you'll get these packs right here. If you get, ever get bored, just, you know. You know, pretty crunk beat you got there. Alright, um, so yeah, those are just some basics. You're gonna get some simple synthesizers on here, not really good ones, but if you wanna mess with them, uh, there's one called, one called SAR, and this is gonna overload, but, um, this is the one I use for the, uh, intro for, um, my one song by Confide. I use this one called 4Bits. Something like that. Yeah, it's, it goes something like that. And then you can also take that and um, put that through your filter. So... Come on. Oh, that's gonna turn it off. Alright, and then you get this really cool one called Gross Beat. Gross Beat, um... Yeah, it's just, it glitches out your, whatever you're putting through it. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, like, I just can't really think of anything else to show you. Um, what I use for a lot of my dubstep is Massive and Ice Cream and Nexus. You can get those the same way you got Fruity Loops, if you know what I mean. Um, and other than that, there's really nothing else to the basics of Fruity Loops. I mean, you get these loops over here that it comes with. Yeah, it's pretty gay. Um, vocals. All right. I'm not copying that one. Uh, these are my custom packs. There's like a thousand gig of them. Look at this. All my voice clips. David after dentist. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah. So yeah, um, you can find sample packs online. I know I gave a list of them to Cody once. I don't know if you guys know where that is at all. I, I still have the list saved on my computer, so if you need it again, hit me up. And uh, that should be everything. If there's any more problems... I'll go over it. here. Let me go over this real fast again. When you record, you're gonna select your mixer track. All right. Here, well, first of all, turn your sound on, and then select the mixer track that you just turned the sound on. You can tell by little waveforms. It's actually gonna look like this when you first when you first install it. This is what it's gonna look like. You choose the one that you have that on, and I like this one. 
Um, and then from there, you hit record. You hit this button right here. Four, four clicks. Recording, recording. That's fun. Move that to mixture two. And then layer all your effects on it. See? All right. So that should be it. You have 99 mixture tracks, so I'm pretty sure you'll never run out. I've never used all of them before. Maybe if I was writing a song that's three days long, I would. And uh, you get this really cool synthesizer that'll overload your computer. Oh yeah, another thing when you when you if you do get synthesizers and you open them and you start getting this bar up here overloading you're gonna want to go to tools macros smart disable for all devices it's not really gonna help right now because this cam studio thing that I have on is like overloading my computer but uh you also don't want anything running in the background if you have your internet browser on turn it off um, I don't know anything music player iTunes especially iTunes it hates it when you have iTunes on um, just turn off anything that's in the background because it really does not like that. Uh, so good luck. If I can figure out how to turn this off.